Hey, good morning, Jennifer. This is Brayden from Pacific Toyota here in Cairns. Hey, just doing a quick virtual tour on our 2018 Mitsubishi Triton uh, in the XC right here in front of me, the dual cap full drive. Uh, yeah, we finally got a break in the rain, so I've given it a quick chamois, and uh, I'm going to take you through the whole car, the service history, any marks or scratches I can find, the whole works, give you a really good look through the car. Hey, look, uh, just in case you're not sure, but obviously we are Pacific Toyota, so here in Cairns. Uh, lucky enough to have two massive big pre-owned yards up here, so we've got another one closer to town at 77 Mulgrave Road. And of course we've got our main yard here at 251 Mulgrave Road as well. Uh, you can see across the road there we've got our Toyota and Lexus showrooms as well as our uh, service and uh, parts drop off across the road and all that. Um, yeah, like I said, we're lucky enough to have two massive, massive pre-owned yards up here. So we get some pretty great cars because of it. But look, we're going to get stuck right into it. Uh, I'm going to start from the very, very front here. I'm going to be picky as I can. Anything I can find, I'm going to show you. But this thing is an absolute glamour with um, pretty unreal service history as well. So look, going right from the very, very front. Don't stress about all that sort of stuff. Like I said, I've just given it a chamois. So that's just little bits of water. Um, looking very clean across the front. I'm sort of struggling to see anything across here at all. Normally you see like stone chips and that sort of thing. But I'm really genuinely struggling. That is very, very clean. That is just looking. Um, so I'll just go right across the bonnet here as well for you. Again, like I said, normally you get the stone chips across the front, but there's just nothing here. The closest, honestly, is that little one's just there. And a tiny, tiny one there. But no, that's coming from my finger, even better. So that is just so clean. Uh, so obviously across the windscreen there, so no chips or scratches or you know cracks or anything like that. Uh, that $47,990, that is the driveway price. So that's your stamp duties, that's your transfers, that's everything all included, like we discussed. But just exceptional example. You can see me in the mirror there. If we come down as well. So obviously, with being the XC, you get these pretty unreal alloys as well. So it's obviously the factory ones from you. Absolutely stacks and stacks of tread left on there. But I just like showing you. You can see right through the suspension in there. That is just so clean. Normally with full drives, you can um, ride in through those shockies and that is where you see all the dirt and the, you know, leftover mud or anything like that. But that has just been so well looked after. So even right down the, um, the angles of the car there. So no dents, nothing. It's just very, very well looked after. So um, being the XC again, so you get the uh, keyless entry on both front doors on the drivers and the uh, passengers on the front ones. So that little button there, so I get the keys in my pocket, push that button, it's going to lock it, they're going to tuck in, so you know it's locked. Push that again and they're going to open up. So as long as you're in the proximity of this door, you can push that button so you can keep these in your pocket bag, whatever. If you've got your hands full, it just makes life very, very easy, especially if it's raining and things like that. You're not sitting there digging around looking for keys. Looks like a tiny, tiny little sort of scuff mark just there. It's very, very faded, like it's very hard to see. But like I said, I just want to be as um, picky as I can for you. So obviously the, the uh, electric uh, windows the whole way around. Looks like a tiny little sort of wear mark just there. Maybe someone's ring or something like that might have caught the, uh, the plastic there. But otherwise pretty good. And um, even on the main entry there, looking very clean. So no floor mats in this one either, just to let you know. But again, so being the XC, you do have the, uh, the leather seats the whole way around with this one. With the uh, lighter interior. So this thing is just absolutely immaculate, hey. Very well looked after. So you've got the uh, solid grab handles here, so especially with the side steps, this time of year, they um, they can get a little bit slippery in the rain and things like that. So you've got the solid handles here, as well as the, the drop down ones just there as well. So it makes it really handy to jump in and out. Um, especially short people like myself makes it very handy. So look, all your books, everything's all in there. I just want to show you that service history. Um, I'm not going to show you the first page because it was, um, this will be uploaded to YouTube and I, I don't want to, it's got their contact details on there. Uh, so it, it, I can tell you it was a private owner down in Kerwin. And we'll just jump to that service history for you because I want to take you through it. So i get to the important pages here. There we go. So Mitsubishi's, you only got to service them every 15,000 Ks or 12 months. So the original service, so uh, obviously looks like it was owned down in Townsville um, and serviced down there. So we got the 4,900 at 2018, 17,000 at 2019, 37,000 at 2021. So really genuinely good service history, every 15,000 Ks there, that Coral Motors, that's us. So whenever they come in, if they're due for a service, we get them done. So that way you know everything's um, as good as it can be. So look, we'll jump around, just come back down to this second door here for you as well. Looking extremely clean, maybe a little hairline one just there, just a very, very fine one there, and a tiny sort of scuff there too. 
otherwise sort of struggling to see anything else. Very good up on that roof there too. So the fuel is on this side too, so the passenger side. I'll show you where the release is for that once we actually um, want to jump inside. So on this door card, so the passenger rear side, we've got a little bit of scuff there and there. Just a little bit of wear kind of thing. So it looks like they might have had something in the back seats that's kind of rubbed up against it. But other than that, very, very clean. You've got the child box on here as well for you. Very nice from the inside here, hey? So obviously storage here in the back. Um, you've got the argument separator here in the middle, or the, uh, or the cup holders in the center. Now you've got this little strap up the top corner here. So if you pull that one there, that whole thing's going to come forward, just like that. And in the back is where you've got your, so your jack, your tools, the breaker bars, and of course you've got your child anchor points here and here as well. So real easy, they're just in the back there for you, makes life a little bit easier for you. Like I said, so you've got the drop down handles in the back here, both sides. And like I said, those um, same with the front and those solid ones there too, for the front two seats. So I'll keep coming around. I just want to show the, uh, so again, the um, driver's side rear here. So I'm just sort of struggling to see any sort of gravel rash on that. Looking very tidy. Again, heaps and heaps of tread left on these ones, but very clean through the back there. So again, apologies for the rain. Uh, we've got the spare tire underneath there too, so it looks like heaps of tread left on that one. But as you can see, just so well looked after. This thing's immaculate. So the beauty of the Tritons, you get, this hasn't been lifted or anything. This is all stock suspension. You get a massive, massive amount of um, clearance on these guys as well. So that's why they've got such a good tow rating, such a good payload, the whole works. I'm a big fan of these, these trucks. So even right across this bumper here, sort of struggling. Very clean. Show you underneath, like I said, you got that spare tire up under there as well. Tell you what, Jennifer, I don't think you're going to find a better example for a 2018 one of these. So even across that tailgate, extremely clean. You've got the reverse camera just there for you. That little latch there is going to drop that one down. So a little bit of wear on the inside of the um, trays, but that's exactly what they're for. They're utes. They, um, they're designed exactly for that. If it ever it does become a concern for you, you can get like rhino lining and those sort of things, the spray on ones to go through the inside of here. Uh, but there are. They're good for traction, good for, you know, uh, not showing scratches and things like that. So like I said, a little bit of wear there too. But other than that, uh, and of course you can get the soft hornos and all sorts of stuff that if you ever want to do down the track. So I'll just take it down the rest of here. Looks like a tiny little hairline one just there. Very, very thin. And again, I'm just being as picky as I possibly can for you. So again, with the XC, you get all the sports bars, everything like this as well. So just a great looking truck. So again, uh, so a little bit of gravel rash on this one, just on the outside of that one there. Very nice. Uh, looks like a tiny sort of little mark just just there, very sort of thin one. Uh, no, that's come off as well. These marks keep coming, they keep coming off. <laughs> uh, tiny little one there as well. But just tiny, tiny scarves. Like I said, I just want to be as um, big as I can, anything I can find. So very tidy through that door card on this side. Very clean. Looks like a tiny scuff there. Maybe someone's like caught their boot jumping it, climbing in and out. But again, just really, really well looked after. So like even you check out the lines down that car, like. Just very well looked after. Uh, again, just a little hairline one there. And like I said, you've got the keyless entry on both sides, so the front and the uh, passenger. So you can lock and unlock it from here. Uh, it looks like it just a, they might have opened the door and had it connect on the car or something like that, but there's just a little, just on that edge, a little bit of a scratch there. But it's actually right on the edge itself. I'll show you the rest of this car before we jump inside for you. Very nice. Just down to that last of the drive side. Front wheel this time doesn't seem to be any gravel rash I can see there either. Very nice. Alright. 
So look, I'm gonna jump inside for you. Let's start, start this one up. So again, being the XT, we are push button start for the ignition for this one. So you've got two genuine Mitsubishi, what they call fobs. Uh, so there's no actual key with these guys to, to start the, the barrel. It's all the ignitions from that one there. So central locking's on there. Uh, nice little nifty feature, but you've got a little lever just there. If you pull that, that's where your actual key is. So if you ever get a flat batch or anything like that and you need to get inside the car, that comes out of that little slot just there for you. So just a little handy tip for you to remember. Put that back in, and that just clicks back into place. So look, we're gonna jump in, start this one up. So from the brake, you gotta have the foot on the brake with these ignitions to, um, to start it up. So it's uh, safety for kids. So foot there, start there. Just gonna move forward a bit because I'm very, very short. So as it looks, 37,194 kilometers as it sits right now. Uh, that little light that's flashing in the bottom there just says that there's a little, because I disconnected that key. So it's just saying that that was disconnected, so you haven't left the fob inside the car or anything like that. So it's just letting you know. There you go, so she's disappeared, nice and easy. Uh, so no dash lights, no uh, you know, engine lights or anything like that to be concerned about, that's for sure. We simply won't take cars that do. Uh, up on the actual steering wheel itself, pretty easy setup. You got all your Bluetooth controls down this side. Radio options are all up on the left, so you can go between AM, FM, Bluetooth, that sort of stuff from there. Cruise controls all up in here, so set and reset uh, via that one and on and off from there. Again, being the exceeds, so you got the paddle shifts up here, so you can actually change gears. So the little plus sign there and the not, uh, negative over this one, up the gears on the right, down on the left. So if, uh, if you've got big hills or you know overtaking or anything like that, just gives you a bit more control of the car yourself. Um, again, being the XC, you've got all the auto headlights and everything as well. So you can flick that to automatic there. They're going to turn on and off as they need to. Otherwise, you've got your parkers, headlights, high beams, and um, blinkers all from there like normal. And your fog lights are just down there too. Uh, wipers are all over the left-hand side. So they do have an automatic setting there too, which is great. So they'll just do their thing. Um, otherwise, you can control them yourself like normal. Uh, on the right-hand side here, we've got traction control. Like I said, you've got that ignition on the side there too. Uh, like I said, when you uh, lock the car and those mirrors fold in, you can actually do that from the inside here too. So they've got a little power fold button there as well. So if you're at full driving and you're a little bit close to trees or anything like that, you want a bit of extra space opening that door, you can just tuck them in with that one there. Um, left side of the car, right side of the car, just that as you need to. Uh, you can act actually pivot the headlights uh, on this one as well. So you can change the angle of this one too. So they can tilt up and down via that little scroll. Uh, fuel release is just down here. So like I said, it is over the uh, passenger side there, but the release is just there for it. The actual uh, bonnet release is just up underneath there too. So that's under there. I'll pop that because I'll show you under there in a second. Uh, all, the, all the windows are obviously uh, automatic. The driver's one is auto uh, got the um, one touch. So you can push that once, it's gonna go down. Pull it again, and it's gonna go up and do its thing by itself. You have to sit there and hold on to it. The rest you do. Uh, all touch screen up here. Main apps button there is gonna bring you to your Apple CarPlay and uh, Android Auto options. So you, you can plug your phone into the USB port down here and uh, you can access those as well. So that's where your maps and everything are gonna be through those apps. Uh, otherwise, your main home button is gonna bring you to this display. So again, that apps button, your phone, so you can get all your text messages, phone calls, everything through there. Uh, iPod, USB, FM, AM, Bluetooth, all that sort of stuff is there as well. So, and you can control that from the, the steering wheel up here too. Uh, being the XC, you've got the dual climate control, so two temperature options. So my he side here on the driver's side can be independent and uh, passenger side totally independent as well. So if you're sitting there freezing your guts off, you can turn that up and uh, vice versa as well. Uh, real nice and easy there. So fan speed, uh, aircon controls, where you want it coming out of and all that sort of thing. Nice little handy feature here. So if, if the kid's in the back and they pop the seat belts off, uh, it's gonna illuminate which seat has their seat belt off uh, through weight sensors and things like that. So really good uh, for, for eyes in the back of the head. Again, being the exceed, you uh, get the high and low settings for your heated seats. Uh, people do knock those up here thinking it's too hot, but it's actually really great if you do have uh, lower back problems or, you know, um, soreness and things like that. It's actually like driving with a heat pack, so it's actually a handy little feature. Rear diff lock there for four-wheel driving. Like I said, you've got your USB tucked in there for you. Accessory plug there. Uh, another USB and HDMI in there as well. Heaps of storage in here. Reverse camera, like I said, is at the back. Uh, so you can actually physically see the back of the car there, which makes it real nice and handy. Um, so you, like I said, it, it's, it's, you should never really back into anything because of that. That's probably why it looks so good on the rear there, because that camera is so, so damn clear, and you can see right through the corners as well. Uh, normal handbrake on this one. Full drive super select on these guys. So really nice little feature that Mitsubishi have got. Uh, you've actually got a four-speed 
full drive gearbox that these guys. So not many cars, no one else really does this. Uh, it's pretty much you know set to, to the Mitsubishi's and they've been doing it for a little while and they're very, very good at it. So right now we're currently set in too high. So that's your normal driving around town, uh, probably the best fuel economy side of things. You've then got a four high option. So you can flick over to that, always leave it in neutral while you're doing it. You can see up there, that's now got uh, all four tyres illuminated. That means we're in 4H, so really good for driving around town. You can actually drive this on the bitumen. Uh, great for this sort of time of year where it's uh, pouring down rain and those sort of things. Just gives you a bit more traction to all four wheels. You can actually drive on bitumen on those. Other cars, when you put it into four drive, you can't actually drive in bitumen because it tears diffs and things like that. Mitsubishi you can't. So, you then go across the 4H lock uh, L6, so four high lock centre. So that is going to be for loose gravel roads, uh, driving around, you know, Tinaroo, Coomaloomba, um, up to the Cape, anywhere like that where they're going to be 80, 100k uh, roads, things like that. So now you can see the little flashing orange light in the middle there. So that means that we're now in four high. So that one you don't want to drive on bitumen, but it still gives you the same gearing as your, your normal driving around here. Next option after that is 4L lock C, so 4 low lock centre. So that one is that means the, uh, so that's good for... Uh, river crossings, uh, sand, beaches, all that sort of stuff where you want stacks of hill climbs, where you want stacks of revs, uh, but you're not going to get the same speed as you will on the other gears. So that's your full hardcore, full driving one there. Uh, otherwise, you just simply go back down through those and back down to the 2H there. If you ever find that they're sitting there flashing like that as well, you can sit there. It just means that the, uh, the mechanical side hasn't caught up with the electrical, uh, and you can simply put it into drive or reverse and drive forward a couple meters, and that'll all engage safely. So I can't do that just yet because we all obviously are boxed in, uh, but yeah, so there you go. So you can see that it's, um, that's done it itself. It's just all caught up. So very, very good system, very reliable. A uh, bit of storage there. Heaps of storage in there and another accessory plug as well. They give you a little recess so you don't go chopping any cords on the inside here. Uh, up on the roof there. So mirrors on that side. That's your little microphone for the Bluetooth. Sunny holder up the top there. And again, no mirror on this side as well. So, and that's just about the whole inside for you. So what we'll do, I'm just gonna quickly jump out, show you under that bonnet as well, before we finish up here. Apologies to the long virtual tour. These guys have just got absolutely stacks in there. I wanted to show you as much as I possibly could. Jump out. So that beeping is just letting us know that I've got the car running and I've got the keys in my hand. So it's just a little reminder that the car is running for you and you haven't forgotten about it. There you go. So that's a little 2.4 Mitsubishi Common Rail uh, motors. Very reliable, very clean. And that's what that good service history does. So again, being the XC, you've got your little daytime running lights. So as soon as that car's on, these are going to be on on both sides. So they look great, but they're also a safety feature as well. But look, Jen, hey, look, thanks so much for uh, watching this video. I very much look forward to hearing your feedback soon.